Hi, this is John Thorson, head of Jerusalem Psychotherapist. This week's Tarant Psychology Post by Pashas Kitisa and the War in Israel is titled Self-Identity. In this week's Pasha, we read about the second Luchos. The Bnei Israel received two Luchos and that Moshe Rabbeinu smashed the first Luchos, which was in, in, in the event, the tragic event of the Egel Ezahav. And then there was the second Luchos that was given to the Bnei Israel. And Rav Soloveitchik discusses the distinction between the first and the, the first and the second luchos, whereas the first was given in a fanfare and with pub, in, a, in a very public way and how Sinai, and the, the second was given in a very quiet, in a very modest way. And we see it is a clear distinction between the two luchos, and the medrash asks why was the second luchos given in a more modest and quiet way and he says because when something which is done in public which is done outwardly which is done in a public way the the satan has the ability to influence and have control over over the over the event over what happens by bringing it out into public it exposes it it's it is exposed to the influence of the satan so we can obviously ask the question and therefore why was the first luchos even given in this public way if there was a chance of it being influenced or affected by the by the Sotom. <clears throat> so Rav Soloveitchik goes on to explain, and he, he says that in we can look at the idea of distinctions, of Havdalah, of distinctions, and actually after Shabbos, when we when we make Havdalah, within the text of the of the Havdalah that we recite, there's this distinction that we say between Or and Choshech. In, between light and darkness, and kodesh and, kodesh and chol, between holiness and something which is mundane and secular and devoid of holiness. So we've got this or and choshech and kodesh and chol. And he explains, the Rosh says that the difference between light and dark is so obvious, it's so, the, the, the difference is so blatant and anyone can make a distinction and can discern the difference between light and dark. Whereas the distinction between the holiness Something which is Kodosh and something which is not holy, the Chol, the Kodosh and the Chol, is something which requires more sensitivity. It's not so obvious. It's not so obvious. And it's, it requires a certain level of understanding and perception. And, and as we said, sensitivity to be able to make this distinction between them. And what was perhaps the, 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 the idea, the concept was, was that with the first Luchais, by doing it, by putting it in, into the public arena, and that it was so public, and it was outwardly shown that the luchos were being given, the Torah was being given to the Bnei Yisrael. The idea was that it should be obvious and so clear to the world who it is, who this, the Jewish people are, what they stand for, what are their values, and the, the impact that they can have on the world is so much greater if there is this obvious, clear distinction and understanding of what it means to be the Jewish people with the Torah. But, and we can see now that by the, by, by the second luchos, it was more... It was done in a more modest way. And this we can see as well as Salavetic tracks with the history of the, of, of the Bnei Yisrael. That although the ideal the Kodesh Baruch wanted is that the Bnei Yisrael as a people should be so outward and it should be clear and the, the distinction between Kodesh and Chol will be so obvious that it, shouldn't, it won't be a, 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 it won't require this great sensitivity and rather it should be like light and darkness. By doing it in public it's open. It should be on this level of light and dark. The Kodesh and the Chol should be as if it's between light and dark, and everyone can see it and understand it. But unfortunately, over the years, there's been a, sort of de a degrading and a, and a diluting of the quality and the value and, and, and the outward understanding of the holiness of the Jewish people and the, and the way that we also respect our own status and our own identity of, Jew of the Jewish people. And we see, as well as Soloveitchik points out, through the emancipation, and through the enlightenment where we entered into this idea where you could be almost a Jew at home and outwardly it wasn't so obvious. But we see there's a certain dilution that suddenly this Jewish identity became less obvious. It was, un it was harder to discern. This distinction between Kodesh and Chol required this greater sensitivity. It was no longer on this level of, of as you could say, of light and dark of being so obvious and blatant. And unfortunately, this is what's happened, that over the years and over the history of the Jewish people, it's been harder and harder to discern and be able to really understand clearly what it means to have this Jewish identity. But if Soloveitchik actually writes in relation to uh, 
the establishment of the state of Israel, of Yom Atzma'ut, of having a, a Jewish, of having the land of Israel, it is and it has actually enabled this revival of the outward Jewish identity. He, ident he says that that Yom Atzma'ut is worth celebrating for this reason, even for this reason alone, of being able to promote and bring back to the public arena this blatant and clear Jewish identity and to be proud of that. And if we look at this in terms of certainly at, at the moment in, in the war in Israel, we can see that this Jewish identity is, is becoming, is, is so clearly being expressed through what's happening in, in, you know, on, the, on the national level in, in the country or in Israel or internationally through just in, in terms of the Jewish people as a whole. There's this clear, obvious tapping into this Jewish identity and, this, and clearly showing the distinction between Am Yisrael and, and the rest of the world, what it means to have this Kedusha of being Am, Am HaKadosh. And this has been highlighted as well, even on the level of warfare, of the, the, the extent that the soldiers have gone through, the IDF has gone through in order to preserve life, in order to be able to, in order to go through the warfare in a sort of in a considerate way and is able to be successful based on a clear understanding of values and having a, an appreciation of what it means to fight for, er, for Eretz Yisrael, for Am Yisrael, which is different, which is different to other ar armies, is different to other wars. And this is the, the distinction between Kodesh and Chol, this, this, this sensitivity, but also that it's becoming so obvious and it's blatant now that for people to be able to see it. And the Ami Sol as a whole as well is tapping into and appreciating on a, on a general level as well that what it means to have a Jewish identity. And this relates on a psychological level to the idea of, of identity, of self-identity. That you can look at Carl Rogers that talks about self-concept of being made, which is made up with the idea of a person's self-image, how they view themselves at the moment, their ideal self, what they want to be, how they want to be viewed, or how they want them, how they want to view themselves in the future, and this can have an impact on self-esteem. But when there's a, only when there's a congruency between how they view themselves and their ideal self, does this lead to a higher level of self-esteem? And this is what we're seeing now: this self-image of the of, of the Jewish identity and the ideal self of what we're supposed to be like, the achdus that's supposed to be there, the chesed and the appreciation of what's supposed to be within the Am Yisrael. There's a greater congruency, and therefore it's rise, it's increasing the self-esteem of Am Yisrael as a whole through the war. And this is is tapping into the psychological power of really understanding our, our, the self-concept, the self-identity of who we are. As a Jewish people, as being Am Yisrael, of the kedusha that we have of, of Am Yisrael, of receiving the Torah and receiving and, and understanding the special identity and role that we have, have a great Shabbos and keep well.